Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a few different work from home jobs you can do while spending a lot of your time watching videos for the job. So the first one is one that you probably haven't seen before. This is at a company called Lionbridge, which is a company that does a lot of translation, localization, and other types of services like that. They've also been known for doing different types of AI training jobs and things like that. They have a video translation and annotation job where you can basically watch videos and flag any potential slang, abusive, or hateful content that is present in the video. So you're gonna watch videos in your native language. They have this for many different languages as well. You'll translate them into English and insert your comments and annotations in your translation to flag any potential slang, abusive, or hateful content present in the video. Detailed workflow guidelines will be provided. So they do say a bunch, a long list of just like native, native speakers of these different languages. Again, I'm only showing you one example. They have a long list of jobs kind of like this one available and other translation jobs as well. But they want you to be a regular user of social media, in particular online video platforms. Very good level of English is required. Knowledge of CAT tools would be a plus. Flexible schedule, which allows you to jump on the work with no heads up. And basically, this is meant to be a long-term freelance partnership. It's not something like a one-off job. You know, there's plenty of jobs out there where you, you do a task and then you're done after like an hour or two. This is actually an ongoing type of job. As far as what it's like to work at Lionbridge, they have a 3.5 out of 5 star rating and 71% actually recommend working here to a friend. So they have good ratings for working here. I'd say it's probably along the lines of the same general pay as something like an interpreter or translator. Many of their jobs are very similar to that. It may not be the exact same job title, but um, typically most of the jobs they have in the same category are something along these lines, which is around $28 an hour. Another type of job you can do that allows you to spend a lot of your time watching videos is a voice writer. A voice writer is something I've seen exclusively at a company called 3playmedia.com. So when you go to 3playmedia.com and you go to uh, company, you wanna look for transcriptionist jobs. At the top there, they have three main jobs available and we're gonna go down to the voice writer position. So the voice writer is somebody who's going to actually watch live streams and repeat what the stream host is saying. So essentially, you're going to repeat what they're saying because you're going to use a software that 3Play Media provides to create automatic captions. And the difference with this versus typical captions is it's for a live event. Typically, live events do not have captions because it's something that usually needs to be edited in. So if you think of like Netflix or YouTube videos, captions are something that are in the things that are pre-recorded you know, videos that have been uploaded already or movies or TV shows. But if you think of a live stream, some people may be hearing impaired. Some people might have to watch on mute or a low volume because of their surroundings. There's different reasons why people may need to be able to follow along with text. So they actually provide that service here. So they actually have an example as well where you basically you'll have this where, you know, you'll have these people speaking and you'll have like the person doing the live stream and somebody from 3Play Media basically repeating what they're saying and then it auto generates these uh, captions here. So it allows people to follow along. Now, as far as required skills for this job, all you really need is an access to a headset, computer, or strong internet connection, excellent verbal communication, listening skills, and a clear, consistent speaking voice, sitting or standing comfortably for the duration of an event. So be able to just set aside around an hour and a half if you're gonna do this. Multitasking is another thing you'll have to do. Manage projects, work independently, follow instructions, and complete a background check. As far as what's like to work at 3Play Media, they have a 3.6 out of 5 star rating. 57% recommend working here to a friend. People typically re report making somewhere around $20 to $34 an hour, somewhere in there. You do see some editors that claim $38 an hour, but we don't know exactly what they were editing or if they were somebody who was doing transcription or voice writing. So as far as just the main jobs on here, you do see an independent contractor transcription editor for 34 an hour right here. So you're looking somewhere, it looks like around, you know, that 20 to 35 an hour range. Another place you can check is gaggle.net. This is a place that provides uh, safety services for K through 12 students. Basically looking out for the students, making sure that they are not posting signs of 
what would be like problems in their lives. And if they do, you report it to the people that can help them. So what you're going to be is something called a content reviewer. So you're gonna literally be watching videos, um, reading posts on social media, and things like that, of kids that are in K through 12 grades posting online. And what you're gonna do is you're going to look for any signs of problems in these kids' lives so that you can report them to the safety team to help them because some kids you may not know what they're going through at home so this is to under uncover drug use bullying threats of school violence teen depression suicidal intentions and abuse domestic situations in these students wives so you also have a lot of flexibility here and you basically get to create your own schedule they tell you that right here they also tell you you're going to be an independent contractor so as far as your responsibilities, again, you're going to monitor and analyze student activity to identify potentially inappropriate usage, including words, phrases, statements, and images. You will quickly and efficiently process content while maintaining a high level of accuracy. You will also process for a minimum of 10 hours each week, escalate questionable findings to the safety team for additional in-depth analysis and additional tasks as assigned. Requirements, experience using various computer and web-based applications in a professional environment, interest and enthusiasm for reading as the position requires focused attention to reading various links of content. You'll have to delineate between potentially harmful matters and harmless situations, so kind of have some good judgment there. Experience with tech and social media culture, knowledge of trends and slang that kids may use, ability to exhibit tolerance of and respect for people's opinions, strong communication skills, adaptability to change, high-speed internet, things like that. So as far as additional considerations, um, again, it's an independent contractor position. Contracts are renewed when minimum requirements of the job are met or exceeded on a weekly basis. So this is something that's best done kind of like part-time. Now, as far as what a content reviewer typically makes here, you're looking at, if you were to work full-time, it would be somewhere around 51,000 a year, which is about about $25 per hour. And then as far as what it's like to work at Gaggle, they have a four out of five star rating and 63% recommend working here to a friend. Next you have subtitling and captioning. And this is still one of the few websites I've found where you can consistently find subtitling and captioning jobs. I'll go over another option here in a second, but Rev is a place at rev.com where you can go and you can be either a transcriptionist, a captioner, or a subtitler. So. I mentioned the voice writer earlier. This is kind of similar in that you're going to watch videos and you know, if you're a transcriptionist, you may listen to audio, but for captioning and subtitling, you're specifically going to focus on video format. So you also get to choose your job so you can actually pick the videos that interest you out of the ones that they have available. Create a flexible work schedule, meaning you get to set your own hours and you get paid weekly via PayPal. You can also apply for many different countries around the world, as you can see, and then Basically, if you want to do videos, you can specifically do something like captioning where you're going to watch a video, accurately type what's being said, convey sounds, and sync the typed audio with the video. So you see this example here where the, the captions pop up on the screen as they are being said in the video. That's essentially what you're doing. So it's 54 cents to $1.10 per audio or video minute. And then a subtitler here is $1.50 to $3 per audio or video minute. The difference with this one is you're gonna translate the subtitles. So you will create you know, subtitles on a video, but they may be in a different language from what's being spoken. So it's a little more difficult, and that's why they pay you more. So you just click learn more next to the one you want to apply for. You get paid weekly via PayPal. They'll tell you the average earnings. You get free software that'll help you do the work. You apply online, choose your work, and then get paid via PayPal. Now, as far as how much you can earn here, they have a few estimates. They've had lots of reviews, actually. If you look at the hourly rate here, and we're looking mo mostly for captioning and subtitling. So captioning, you're looking at, you have 42 people that claim they average 23 an hour. And then if you go to subtitling, you see that uh, three people claim they made around $30 per hour. Next, we have transcription. One of the best places to find transcription jobs uh, consistently is at dailytranscription.com. If you go to their career section, you'll notice that they have a job vacancies section here. They have general transcription. They have AI editor, which is basically automatically generated transcripts, and then you edit those. You have medical transcription, which usually pays more than general transcription. 
You have subtitling and captioning. So this is one of the few other companies other than Rev.com where you can find subtitling and captioning jobs. You also have legal transcription, which again, medical and legal usually pay a little more than general transcription jobs. And then you have some others in other languages, broadcast, list, transcriber, and a few others. So lots of different options here. If you wanted to just do like say a general transcriptionist job, um, they are currently looking for freelancers for most of these in the US, Canada, UK, and New Zealand. And then they typically want you to be a native English speaker for most of these as well. They do want you to be able to type 50 words per minute. And you can test that for free at typingtest.com. And strong listening and typing abilities, attention to detail, ability to work independently, time management skills, proficient in using a transcription software, ability to insert time codes, proofread your work, and follow guidelines that they give you. They tell you that this is more like 10 to 30 hours a week. One to two years experience is kind of what they're looking for. You're an independent contractor and get paid 45 to 66 dollars per hour of material. That's not per hour of work, that's per hour of material. As far as what's like to work at daily transcription, they have a 3.7 out of five star rating. And as far as the salaries here, as far as how much you could expect to earn, obviously they tell you how much you could earn per page or per hour of content. But in terms of how much you might actually average, it's going to depend on the type of transcription you do. So if you see like general transcription, you're looking at $20 an hour, maybe 18. If you scroll down for like medical, it looks like it's a little more at 23 possibly, 22, something like that. And then that's about the ballpark of what you might expect here. Now we also have like an ads assessor. They have a lot of these all over the world in a company called TELUS International. So this would be, this is just one example. You do not have to be in South Korea, for instance. It's just an example of one that popped up at the top of the list. But again, just go and apply for the one in your specific country. But what you do is basically you evaluate online advertisements and make sure that the content quality and layout are, are basically the way they're supposed to be. You'll be required to provide feedback and analysis on ads found in search engine results and provide ratings on their relevance to the search terms used. So another aspect of this will be reviewing language used in the ads by examining grammar, tone, and cultural relevance. So you're gonna basically just make sure that ads are working the way they're supposed to in search engines in all aspects. Again, like the way it's formatted, the content, the grammar, all of that stuff. Now you don't need much to apply for these. You also get to make your own hours and you do need to live in whatever country you're applying in for the last three consecutive years, have a good understanding of your country's uh, historical, business, media, sport, news, and other affairs, and full proficiency in whatever language you need to speak for the job. Like for instance, if you look at the US version, it's English only. For this one, it's English and Korean because it's in Korea. But most of these are still gonna require English, even if it's in a country where that's not the main language. So you also need access to and use of a broadband internet connection and associated computer and software to perform the work. Experience and use of web browsers to navigate and interact with a variety of content, a barcode scanner on your smartphone, and active daily user of Gmail and other forms of social media. Another type of job at the same company is an internet safety evaluator where you also get to watch videos. So if you're interested in watching you know, videos and, and other forms of content on the internet to basically make sure that they are safe for the general public, that's essentially what you're doing here. So they want someone who's passionate about social media and regular users of Gmail. Obviously you're working remotely and you're gonna basically help make the internet safer for internet browsing by reviewing and filtering potentially sensitive and adult material. So basically you're making sure that this potentially sensitive and adult material does not pop up in the general search results of the internet. So if you think Google, you think Bing and all of that stuff, they don't allow certain things to just pop up in search engines. So you're gonna make sure that those things aren't there, that aren't that would be considered unsuitable material. So you may have to see some things you don't necessarily enjoy seeing uh, or some adult related content, but you have to just kind of be okay with that. Now, this one, they actually tell you to pay $12.50 an hour. Now this one is located in Canada, so it's gonna vary depending on which country you're in. But this is just another example of a job where you will be watching videos, you will be consuming content online in search engines and in search results. 
and essentially judging whether or not it is safe for the general public to view that. So requirements are, you know, you're going to need written and verbal skills in your language for whatever country you're applying in, as well as English. So if it's not a predominantly English speaking country, you'll probably have to be bilingual residency in whatever country you're applying in for the last three consecutive years. A lot of these are the same requirements as the other jobs I showed. As far as what it's like to work at TELUS International, 3.6 out of 5 stars, 68% recommend working here to a friend. If you're looking for something like an ad reviewer, an ads quality rater, they say can average around $27 an hour. And then I already showed you an example uh, in Canada where you could earn around $12.50 an hour with the internet safety evaluator. But obviously that's a different country and that could vary because the, the listings I'm showing you are usually US based when you check Glassdoor. So it could be actually more than that. It could be something like pretty close to the same amount of money. Next we have a video editor. This is one of the obvious choices of course. You kind of have to leave that in there for any job where you're trying to basically get paid to watch a lot of videos. But a freelance video editor is something you can get at We Localize right now. We Localize is a localization and translation services company. They also have a lot of AI related jobs. And basically they have an, a video editor job available right now that actually doesn't require a lot in terms of qualifications. It's part time and remote, of course. This one's in the United States. I don't think they have any more video editor jobs outside the United States right now, but they're currently hiring video editors to tell visual stories. It's entry level, so you don't, like I said, need a lot of qualifications. They do want at least one year of social media video editing experience. Uh, preferred, that's not necessarily required, but responsibilities will be to edit film snippets into a comprehensive story for the target audience, trim the sections as needed, input music, dialogues, graphics, and effects, create rough and final cuts, and continuously discover and implement new editing technologies and industry's best practices to maximize efficiency. So requirements would be to have proven work experience as a video editor, one year would be preferred, uh, but not necessarily required, and solid experience with digital technology and editing software packages. So typically, they have pretty good reviews, 3.6 out of 5 stars, 68% recommend working here to a friend. If you go their salaries, they don't actually have the video editor on here. I've already searched for it. But video editors can actually make pretty decent money at an average of, of around $30 per hour. Last but not least, we have a company called Appin, which has these jobs called social media evaluators. So if you want to also watch videos and evaluate content on social media, you can check out these types of jobs. So they have these all over the world right now. I don't see one in the US right now, but again, this is one you might just check the, the list every once in a while. This is just an example I'm going to show you, but Appen is changing their listings all the time for different countries. But for this one, they have, this is a company that just specializes in AI related jobs. So a lot of these jobs are basically built to train AI. So you're going to evaluate how AI is doing in a certain area, whether it's generating search results or generating transcriptions or generating a computer voice of some kind. You know, there's all sorts of different ways that AI creates things, but the problem is AI is not finely tuned yet in a lot of areas. So they have people like you in these jobs that work part time, basically making sure that AI is on the right track and giving reviews of how it's doing when it comes to the results that AI creates. So this is just one thing that you can do. You're basically going to be looking for fake information online for social media and you're going to check facts. You're going to be consuming lots of social media posts. Obviously, one of the main types of social media posts is video these days. You're going to keep up with what's happening. Use trending maps, check maps that show what's popular to guide your searches. Watch for repeat wires. Try different ways to look at sources and try different methods to find out what's not true. And for a post to be worth checking, so like one of the summaries they have for the criteria that you would have is come from social media and be recent within the last seven or 14 days. Be about something that could seriously fool people, not just little mistakes and not be just someone's opinion, a joke or a fight between businesses. So what you need to show, make sure it doesn't have any made up info, missing details, fake pictures. Check it's from the last week or two and has at least 15 shares or comments or 100 views if it's a video. Make sure you haven't sent us the same thing before. Share the link to the post, etc. So they just kind of give you different criteria and all of that. But obviously the pay for this is very low. 
but this is in like Pakistan. So it's totally different from what it would probably be in the US or Canada or the UK or something like that. So it's, it's hard for me to tell you how much every country is gonna pay you, but Appen, you can look at their reviews. That's the best guess you can kind of take with stuff like this. 3.5 out of five stars, 63% recommend working here to a friend. As far as the uh, social media evaluator, it's one of the most common jobs on here. They say in America that it averages around $22 an hour. So obviously I think the cost of living is probably much higher here. So it may vary depending on that. So hopefully this was helpful. If you thought this was a helpful video, please click the like button. It helps me know what kinds of content you prefer. And don't forget to leave a comment if you want to ask me a question or suggest something for future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.